Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's your man one skill, constantly pushing the limits of what is possible on PowerPoint. Today's video is all about 3D Morph Parallax. Oh yes, I said it right, 3D Morph Parallax. Let's start with a simple example. Imagine that you have a blank white slide and some simple looking coffee beans and you want to apply a 3D Morph Parallax effect to those coffee beans. The question is, where do you start? Well, lucky for us, we have this cool guy on our side. He is Morpheus from the Matrix movie. Morpheus knows everything about 3D Morph Parallax. And Morpheus reveals you the secret. All you have to do is to create three layers of coffee beans, three layers of different sized coffee beans, big, medium and small. After that, you have to duplicate coffee bean slide and then on the newly created slide, move coffee bean layers to any direction that you want and apply a morph transition to the second slide. Well, let me just show it to you. Skadoosh, here it is, the 3D morph parallax effect in action. As you can see, we have three layers of coffee beans moving at different speeds. This way we create a 3D impression. What's cool about it is that you can move back and forth and replay this effect as many times as you want. Ok, let's say that Morpheus is happy with how you made coffee beans fly around, but now he gives you a basketball shoe and asks you to slow down the time even more. So let's look what we have. As you can see, basketball shoes fly at a slower pace than coffee beans, this way creating a slow motion impression. How cool is that? Ok, let's take it to another level. Imagine that Morpheus gives you an Oreo cookie and asks you to really slow down the time. So here we go. Now you have really slowed down the time and I'm sure that Morpheus is really happy with your 3D Morph Parallax skills. Ok ladies and gentlemen, so let's create one of these slides step by step. Let's copy those coffee beans and let's paste them on a new blank slide. Let's change the background to some black color so that we can better see what we are doing. OK, and now we have one big photo of a couple of coffee beans. So what we have to do is we have to break apart those coffee beans into single coffee beans. So you can do that with the help of crop tool. So let me demonstrate to you how you can crop out single coffee beans. And after you have cropped out one coffee bean, you can duplicate it, you can click on crop and you can select a different coffee bean. This way you can crop out, crop out <laughs> this way you can crop out as many coffee beans as you want. Ok, so 5 coffee beans will be enough. And now we will create this uh, last layer with the smallest coffee beans. So let's select all of the coffee beans and let's resize them so they look pretty small. 
And now we can randomly position all of the coffee beans onto the slide. And make sure that you add some coffee beans on the right side of your slide. Okay, so now after we are done with our small coffee beans, let's group them into a layer and now let's continue with the medium sized coffee beans. So again, place them onto the slide and add some more coffee beans on the right side of the slide. Okay, and after you are finished with the medium-sized coffee beans, group them into a layer. And let's actually make the small coffee beans layer a little bit bigger, I mean longer. And now we can continue with the biggest coffee beans. So again, position, position them the way you want them to look. You can rotate any of those beans so that they look different from the rest of the beans. So let me just spread apart all of the three layers so that you can see that we have created three layers of coffee beans of different sizes. Small, medium and the biggest coffee beans. And for these uh, biggest coffee beans, we can add a blur effect. All you have to do is go to artistic effects and find a blur effect. You can adjust the radius of the blur effect. You can make it 55 or we can leave it the default value uh, 10. And let's apply the same blur effect to all of our big coffee beans. This blur effect will really give the impression that these big coffee beans are really close to us and it will help to create that 3D effect. And now let's just put all of these three layers back onto the slide. Just make sure that the biggest coffee beans are on top of all of the rest uh, coffee bean layers. And now you duplicate this coffee bean slide and for the second slide apply the morph transition. And now on the second slide you have to move slightly all of your coffee bean layers to the left side. For the small coffee bean layer you have to move layer just a little bit. Now we can check out what we have. Skadoosh. So as you can see the coffee beans are flying pretty fast. We can adjust the time, the transition time. So let's check what was the slide transition duration in the original. So it was three seconds. We can set the same slight transition duration, three seconds. And let's check out how it looks like right now. Beautiful. Okay, and if you would like to add a text box, so it's pretty easy, just create a text box, insert it into the first slide, then copy it and paste it into the second slide and move it somewhere in the middle or at the side of your slide and the morph transition will take care of the animation. You will not need to do anything else.
You can even increase the font size. And let's see what we have. So here comes the text box and at the same time it increases the font. So pretty cool. So that is the big secret, ladies and gentlemen, of 3D Morph Parallax. I'm sure that Morpheus is happy about your skills and I'm happy too. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please comment and share it with your friends and I wish you a wonderful week and see you on my next video.